Amazon and Whole Foods Market announced that they have entered into a definitive merger agreement under which Amazon will acquire Whole Foods Market for $42 per share in an all-cash transaction valued at approximately $13.7 billion, including Whole Foods Market net debt. Whole Foods Market will continue to operate stores under the Whole Foods Market brand and source from trusted vendors and partners around the world. John Mackey will remain as CEO of Whole Foods Market and Whole Foods Market headquarters will stay in Austin, Texas. Completion of the transaction is subject to approval by Whole Foods Market's shareholders, regulatory approvals and other customary closing conditions. The parties expect to close the transaction during the second half of 2017. For more on this and other news from the center of the plate, please Please visit foodmarket.com. Now we'll take a look at Erner Berry's HRI Buyer's Guide, a weekly publication dedicated to current commodity prices being paid to wholesalers and purveyors by hotels, restaurants, and institutions. Here's intern John Michael Pereira with the latest movers of the week. Demand for jumbo chicken breast meat backed off considerably following the Memorial Day holiday. In order for sellers to keep clean, they were forced to enter discounted bids. As a result, Erner Berry's quotations have adjusted lower to reflect that. Shell egg prices settled after Correcting lower through the first half of June. Retail promotion and distribution interest helped prices stabilize last week after falling almost 6% the, the week prior. Asking prices for the popular retail size categories are held with confidence to begin the current period. Jumbos are also tightened by flock rotations and higher temperatures as we move into the summer months. Many of the steak cuts in the beef market are at near record or 52 week highs after a move higher over the last couple months. The market has started to change as HRI operators switch to alternative proteins such as pork and chicken items. Terrace Majors ended the first weekly decline nearly 11% lower with more losses expected. Thanks John Michael. That concludes our show for today. Thanks for watching and be sure to head over to the news tab in Comtel for a comprehensive look at the latest market and industry news. Today's video is sponsored by Epsano's Market Insight for the Meat Industry, providing information, education, and insight for the beef, pork, and poultry industries. View a sample report at Epsano.com or call 800-932-0617 to get your free sample today.